I'm Brian Heidelberger, a partner with the law firm of Winston & Strong Chicago, and I'm here today with your Ad Age mini law lesson. But first, that all-important legal disclaimer for my law firm, this is not legal advice and I am not your attorney. Unless, of course, I actually am your attorney, in which case the disclaimer should read, this is not free legal advice and you'll be receiving an invoice very shortly. So what are we talking about today? Well, you probably read in Ad Age Digital yesterday that Pinterest launched business pages. So we thought we'd drill down a little bit today and talk about exactly what that means to you. Well, there was Pinterest terms, but they were more personal geared terms. And now they have personal terms and brand terms. The brand terms obviously apply to those who are using Pinterest using uh, for a commercial purpose and if you had an account before you can go on and convert your existing account to a business account or you can just sign up for a new business account now what kind of information are they asking you for to sign up for that business account nothing much you know email business name your website address a short description of the business and obviously agreement to their business terms and that's really about it now, what do these guides and terms really say for businesses? Well, they're not really that much different than their prior terms. You know, they grant Pinterest a license to use the content you upload, but unlike some other uh, user-generated content websites, these are very narrowly limited, and they only reserve the right to use the content to develop, provide, and use the website. So hopefully what that means is Pinterest is going to only use the contest, uh, content you upload only for its website, and that's it. Of course, you, they make you warrant and represent that the content you're uploading doesn't infringe third-party rights. They put that liability on you, and they note to you that they're going to be collecting and using information from your brand and its users as defined in more detail in their privacy policy, which you can obviously check out yourself. Now, what else is on that website uh, for brands? Well your page can now be verified with a badge. Very exciting. Um, what it does is it helps people identify and find your brand page. It's kind of like on Twitter uh, where you can be verified as well. Now how do you do that? Well you go to Pinterest, you go to settings, you go to verify website and they're only going to verify you by your website. So they're only going to verify top level websites like a Winston.com. It really doesn't necessarily matter what your business name is. It matters what your website name is and that's how going to verify. Once you do get verified, you'll get that all important check mark so everyone who goes to that page knows that it's official to your brand as opposed to just some poser who's talking about your brand generically. What else? Well, they have some new pin it and follow buttons as well as profile widgets and board widgets that you can post on your website if you want people to obviously pin content from your website or if you want from your own website people to follow you on Pinterest without going directly to Pinterest as well as if you want to disclose on your own website what's going on on your Pinterest page. You can use the profile widget or the board widget as well. Now they have also disclosed brand guidelines. These are how can you use Pinterest name and logo when you're using it in your own marketing. Now they've told you that you can use this full logo that you see here when you refer to Pinterest the company or the website and when you promote campaigns that you're promoting on, uh, on your Pinterest page. So you can use their logo which is great to know. They want you to use that P badge when you display other social media icons like the Facebook badge or the Twitter badge. You, they want you to use that Pinterest badge as well. Now obviously they don't want you to muck with either of these logos. These are their logos. You can find them on their website. You can download them. They don't want you using different colors. They don't want you using different font styles. Um, they don't want you to change them in any manner. Of course when you are using the badge you want to make sure that you use your username at your Pinterest page. Uh, before the icon. Basically like a find us kind of example. Now they also in their guidelines and their brand usage they say a couple different things. They don't want you to rotate the marks, alter the colors, obstruct them, add extraneous effects, all the things that we were talking about before. Uh, importantly if you're creating an app they don't want you to use the Pinterest name in your app but you certainly are free to say that this app is compatible with Pinterest but don't use the, the name in your, uh, your app itself. Now they don't want you to use the Pinterest name on merchandise you sell like t-shirts and things like that but you can use a reference to Pinterest on your product packaging as long as you relate it back to your Pinterest page. What about brand guidelines, things that you can do? Obviously things like use it readable, um, keep them uh, free of effects, 
you see them all the various kind of do's here uh, that you can peruse uh, in, in the future. They also have some contest guidelines, and, and you'll see them here. Basically, they want you to uh, you know, use Pinterest in a way that's authentic, that promotes your contest, and which uh, gets uh, people involved easily in your contest. So they want you to create clear instructions. They want you to provide appropriate links. Uh, and they want you to reward the quality of the pinning, not the quantity of the pinning. The idea on Pinterest is they don't want you just to award people to pin over and over and over. So they discourage spam. They, uh, they, they discourage things where each pin or repin is an entry that's pinning too much and that's overdoing it. Um, they also want you to make sure that Pinterest, uh, make it clear that Pinterest does not sponsor or endorse your contest in any manner. They want it to be your contest and you liable for that. Finally, in terms of spam, we talked about that. They really don't want the frequent pinning, and your accounts and your users' accounts can get flagged if, they, if, if you're conducting promotions where you're asking people to log in frequently or comment on pins very quickly or posting the same content over and over or follow other users over and over. All of those things create spam within their website, things that they don't want you doing either personally or as a brand, and certainly not within your promotions. So that's it today for your Pinterest uh, brand update. And remember, let's be careful out there. Have a good one.